Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading. We have purification coming out as your message from the Ascended Masters. So it may be a sense of clearing, cleaning, purifying energy around you at this moment of time, whether this is to do with a situation, your own thoughts and emotions, or some energy between you and somebody else. This purification energy is coming through, kind of just wanting to create a, a lovely clear bubble around you at this moment in time. And it can just help sort a few things out for you. So purification is coming in, pure energy, which is actually really nice. We have, oh, Six of Acorns, success and triumph coming in. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So there is this sense of even connecting to pure source energy is coming through now. There's something that's being recognized, validated within you. You could have a very successful week. Something could kind of just come up and you're like, oh, I'm feeling this sense of success and triumph, which is really lovely that comes through. So it's really nice. Let's see. Let's pull a card to see what's shifting and changing for you Pisces. So what's shifting and changing for Pisces this week? It might just be a successful clear out, a successful purification of a situation. We've got the world. Okay, Capricorn, Aquarius, Saturn, Libra. I do feel like you complete something. Even if it's just like you really want to clean the house in some way or just clear and clean up, put an end to something, a cycle at this moment in time. It's like becoming purifying it in some way. And this is where you get the success, the triumph, you know, it's clearing your energy so that you're opening up to these lovely frequencies that are coming through. Saturn's potentially been playing havoc with you, causing delays or making things harder than it needs to be or, you know, been working hard at something. So it's like finally been able to put that to rest, which actually feels really great. So let's see what else is coming in for Pisces this week. What is coming in? So completion of something could actually bring a lot of success and with it triumph. So let's see what else is coming in for Pisces this week. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So there's this sense of feeling really stable, inner stability that comes in. The Ten of Swords, because you've closed a chapter, you've ended something, you're like, no, done, <laughs> no more, that's it, finished. You've finished, completed something or potentially been able to say no to something, but there's definitely a completion energy. And then we've got the Hermit energy, which is, you know, you've learnt a lot throughout this. You've got this knowledge and wisdom that you can share with the world now. It's a bit of a teacher energy coming through. So you might even just need some time out by yourself if that's if that's what you want with the hermit energy. So that can come through with it as well. It, it can also just, yeah. So you've finally been able to kind of say no to something or put an end to something and there's a little bit of rest and recovery that's needed to come in with it as well. So let's look at the blessings of the week or just, you know, some insight and wisdom. <laughs> so, yeah, blessings. Sorry, I just banged the microphone. Of oh, King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Okay, managing energy levels, managing responsibilities. Maybe, yeah, the, the King of Cups is like managing work, managing emotions, managing money and whatever's become. This Ten of Wands is, you know, you've dedicated or you've been working really hard or something's become quite a burden but you're managing it. You're managing. So you're getting there. Uh, this is the Saturnian energy, the Ten of Wands. You know, it's been hard work, but the King of Cups is like a manager energy around you, whether this is you managing or someone else managing, and you've finally been able to kind of put an end to that, that cycle that felt like it was burdensome in some way, or you just worked really hard at something. It's like, boom, I've completed it. So let's pull an animal energy so I kind of do get a sense of satisfaction that comes in with this Pisces. We've got lamb, beautiful. Again, it's a very pure and innocent energy, the lamb, very beautiful. So it's just like coming back to, yeah, like an innocence, a naivety, a purity of like the start of something and just connecting into pure spirit, which is really lovely. The lamb can represent children. We've also got eagle, speaking of spirit, and stingray. So connecting into spirit can bring in alignment, which is actually really lovely. It can be really great for your chakra balancing. It could be just a few little niggles that have come up under the surface, especially to do with your spine or your back or your posture in some way. 
But this eagle energy, the eagle flies high, it's very much a protective energy. So there's potentially someone around you that is protecting you or helping you feel more supported, whether this is spirit or whether this is a person. It's it's a nice energy to come in and the lamb energy is kind of like inner child as well. So, yeah, it's interesting. We've got all these different forms of your soul energy that's coming in, which is I think you're working with. Um, but it's kind of like there's a new start, but it needs to start like in this place of innocence and purity, which is, yeah, coming in. So let's pull a message from the fairies, message for from the fairies for you Pisces. So, oh, I think that's the blank, is it? Yes, the fairy guide, okay. <laughs> this is like the blank canvas, the reset, the, you know, the blank page sometimes can be terrifying, but at the same time it's better than a whole heap of clutter and, uh, yeah, it's like you you press the reset button and you've got something new that it's a like a blank canvas in front of you. And what do you want to put? Again, it's this sense of white, light, purity. Uh, yeah, just innocence that comes in with this. But yeah, press the reset button. Pretty amazing. So what do you want to put on this um, beautiful blank canvas in front of you at this moment in terms of what it is that you're wanting to reset and what is it that you're wanting to kind of come back to the white light kind of energy is really nice so yeah it's it's a very beautiful energy but there's a potent manifestation it's kind of saying the the place to start something new is from this very pure source energy and this is where you can be have this very potent manifestation frequency you can be matching the frequency of that which is really fantastic it's also like I'm just getting peace as well. The fact that we've got all is well in my world. Everything is working out for my highest good out of this situation. Only good will come. I am safe. Beautiful. And that is just such a beautiful energy that's coming through here. I feel like there's a very strong protection energy around you. There's this lovely sense of just finally ending something, managing something and just going, right, it's over. And then to be able to step back into like, just a total like deep reset or renewal, which is really beautiful, which creates this sense of well-being and it just feels very successful, you know. It's a lovely energy. Some of you might be completing something and getting some kind of recognition or feeling successful just because you completed it. But, yeah, it's just just a lovely reset to come through for you, Pisces. So that's it. Um, that's your weekly reading. So if you're interested in any of my services, the link for that is in the description box below. And please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment because that lets YouTube know that you support the channel and helps with the growth of the channel. And I love reading your comments. So take care, Pisces, and look forward to seeing you next time.